creeps up to the line. Cobb loses the football, and Alabama's got it. So the defense comes up with the big play. D'Amico Ryans fell on the loose ball for Alabama. Wilson in motion to the bottom of your screen. They give it to Works, hit in the backfield, going to be knocked down for a loss. Ahmad Childress made contact with him first. Childress, who last week they started Jeremy Clark to get the attention of Bon Mod. From the shotgun, White gets it complete to the 30-yard line, Travis Wilson. And that was quite a stick by D'Amico Ryans. It's in the five minutes and about 20 seconds from now. Gets by one tackler, then hit at the line of scrimmage. Third and three. Jones, good defensive recognition. Blitz coming from Alabama. Clawson, that's up in the air, and that is Could a be a loose ball. ball. That is a fumble. We saw no signal by the official that it was a forward pass. And a third turnover now for Alabama. Watch Juwan guard. Casey Clawson never got his arm coming forward. That's a good call. It was a fumble. The ball up in the air. D'Amico Ryans is the guy who comes up with the recovery. And again, Alabama... Lawson, Jabari Davis goes right good. Nice play. play. For being a good run support guy. And watch 41 slip under the block of Herrera and then take the legs out of the big back, Jabari Davis. Northern Illinois with an upset here, we thought at the time. Screen pass, left side. Oh, my. What a play by D'Amico Ryans. Read it all the way. Kind of a conservative call by Tennessee, but you don't want to make a mistake. Here he is, the middle linebacker. See, he read it right away. He was watching the quarterback. He read screen, and he went right to the spot for the play. See, a quarterback has to sell a screen as well. He can't give it away. He gave it away that time, and D'Amico Ryans made the play. 67 plays to 48 at this point. Second and 10 from the three. Hand off. Now a big third down play coming up. Second and goal. That's very Tinsley heading that direction. And off on the sweep. Jabari Davis caught and dropped. Lost the yard. D'Amico Ryans. Here's D'Amico. Watch him cut right through there, unblocked. And if he doesn't make that play, they have everybody else blocked to the corner. Third and goal from the six. He leads the team in sacks. Vincent struggling to get back to the line of scrimmage. May have gotten there. Blitz coming right at the middle. Hit behind the line of scrimmage to Nico Ryan. By the special teams, Marco Ryan's uh, on the blitz. Just ran by Marcus McNeil. Turnovers in the red zone will get you every time, Mike. You get no points. As Cadillac tripped up behind the line of scrimmage by D'Amico Ryan. We say every week we talk about how high he raises the bar. Big play right there. Swigert steps up and dropped. Fumbles the football forward, and Alabama's got it. Mark Anderson. Pickens has got to keep. Got to get the first down. Fighting for the stick. I do not think he got it. When you speak to Mike Shula, you can bring up Ryan's name. He glows, and you said, I believe he's the most respected player out here. Let's hope it's nothing too serious. Little pitch to Rafael Little, and he's met at the 25-yard line by D'Amico Ryan. Riggs and Anderson in the backfield. Tony Brown, Chris Hannon, Victor McClure gets the start. Wow, there's a penetration. My goodness, D'Amico Ryan's. He's going to come from out of your picture. He came on a little bit of a run blitz, and nobody accounted for him, and he just timed it perfectly. Quite a moment for an 18-year-old. Quite a moment for a 26-year-old. And That's that picked. one is picked off. Yep, sure was. In and out of the hands of Tony Brown and into the hands of D'Amico Ryans. Their eighth interception on the season. This was just a bobble ball by Tony Brown. Good throw. And D'Amico Ryans with a hustle play getting to the football. Yeah, he's down, and then the ball pops out. Good call by the official. Here's Ainge, drills it, tipped, almost picked off. 
It was tipped by D'Amico Ryan. D'Amico Ryans is that kind of a guy. He's got a nose or a hand or a foot for the ball. He knows how to make plays on the football. Draw play. Houston. And Alabama holds. They'll get the ball back. A little different look now. Hand off. Houston down at the 45 yard line. First down and 10. Campbell with a play fake again. Goes across to has a fumble. Yep, that's the completion. Guy. Roman Harper has the ball. Cooper Wallace again. Here's Wallace. He's going to run the crossing route. It's a good throw by Campbell. He's got an easy first down. And D'Amico Ryans from behind strips the ball out. Watch D'Amico Ryans again. One of those outstanding linebackers. Punches the ball out from behind. Madison comes up with it. Barber again left side. Hit. As hard as anyone has been hit in this first quarter. Yeah, you have a lot of those people, including yourself, coming back next year. What do you hope the future will be, or what do you expect the future to be? Uh, you know what, but uh, I come back to three-step drop, Mark. And hand it off in line. Instead, it's going to be really close. I'm not sure that they got the first down. Five wide receivers for Spurrier this time. Late with the quick hit to the far side. Again, is that ball loose? It is. Bama has it at the 39. But as Dwayne Bol Ballin told us before the game, he still expects his team to win more than lose this year. Mitchell spun around. Oh, look at that. Oh, and he is hot at the 36 yard line. A couple of tight ends out of the shotgun. Johnson, a little option. The pitch goes to McFadden. He's got some room. Out to the 35 as he stutter steps. He gets popped. We'll see on third down. And Johnson is dropped by guess who? D'Amico Ryans. Alabama's in that 30 defense, three down linemen. Pressure comes. Johnson belted from behind. They say it's a loose football, and there's the first turnover of the game. Alabama has it at the 17 yard line. This is where you like having an experienced quarterback like Chris Lee. He's played in all the tough stadiums. They'll test the ground and get nothing. D'Amico Ryans is there along with Rudy Griffin. It's first and 10. 24-3. to Oh, boy, does Lee go down and guess who? It's second down. Here's D'Amico Ryans, and watch. He's going to be one of the only guys that goes full speed. Everybody else stops. He knocks Chris Leak down, and Penn Wager says, hey, that was a legitimate play. It's second and long. There's a play fake. Leak under pressure. Shakes the tackle, but he can't get the second from the 10. Handoff. Gerald Riggs across the 10 out to the 12. Guess who made the tackle? D'Amico Ryans, <laughs> and has had really uh, a tough time of it. This season. Here's the handoff to Riggs again. Riggs across the 30 and second down and eight. This drive again inside the 15. It's Riggs. Tries to dance out of trouble. And he fox trots right into it. D'Amico Ryan's number 35. And fourth and 24. Jeremy shots. Lucas Taylor moves up to grab it at the 43 yard line. Nice tackle. Guess who? D'Amico Ryans. <laughs> Listen to this place. Ainge deep. Rainbow pass. D'Amico Ryans intercepts. Perfect ending. Absolutely picture perfect ending. The All American, academic, and physical All American with the interception. Jackson. Over the middle, catch is made, but he pays for it. Three wides, and Russell in the gun. There's a blitz from the corner, they hand it off, and it gets by D'Amico Ryans. The oh die is caught and blocked as D'Amico Ryans, the All-American linebacker, comes up and gets him the line. One of the things that Joe Kine says about D'Amico Ryans is he has great eyes, and what he means by that is he sees and recognizes things so quickly. That ties the high number of punts for him in a single game this year. And they come in the first 30 minutes. Here's Trey Smith at the 41. Nice downfield tackle. That's the last game. Here. Irons. He won't get 100 here. D'Amico Ryans Jimmy gets him. Harris. Hammered all the way 
back at the 18 by D'Amico Ryan. One of the advantages of wide splits, you spread out the defense and create air. One of the disadvantages is you allow penetration. D'Amico Ryan's right there, sees that opening, he takes that gap. Screen. And no room to run. Many remember Chris Ricks throwing a rather unorthodox style. As sacked all the way back at the 38-yard line as Hodges.